Hey guys, Pixel Dan here, and today we are going to take a look at the brand new C2E2 exclusive Battle Beast Mini Mates. Now, if you'll recall, we already took a look at one of these uh, new Diamond Battle Beast Mini Mates uh, that was given to us at the New York Toy Fair. They're doing the same thing here at the Chicago Comic and Entertainment Expo, but it's actually a brand new sculpt, a different sculpt. So we were going to go ahead and take a first look at this brand new figure. Now, as you can see, it comes in the same uh, poly bag style as the one from New York Toy Fair, except this time it is branded with the C2E2 logo. So it does differentiate itself from the New York Toy Fair version, which was something we were wondering if would actually happen or not. Uh, and much to our surprise, the figure itself did turn out to be a different figure, not the exact same one. So let's go ahead and rip this guy open, take a closer look. All right, now if you'll remember the one from the New York Toy Fair, uh, while it was also an alligator type character, it had a bright silver armor and green skin. Also, the mouth on that one was a lot more closed. This one is a lot more open, so it's like a brand new head sculpt. Uh, the armor and everything looks to be exactly the same, but instead of being silver and green, the figure is all black with gold highlights on the claws. Also, instead of coming with a silver sword, this one includes a black gun. So kind of cool that they changed it up a little bit, and it's not just the exact same figure that we saw from New York. Uh, they actually gave us a brand new head sculpt, a different deco for the body, and a different weapon. So it's a completely different figure than before. Now, just as with the one from New York, this is just a Mini Mate body underneath. You can see that the head easily pulls off, and you've got the Mini Mate head underneath, and the, all of the armor and everything also pulls off, and it's just, it's nothing more than the standard Mini Mate's body, uh, just made to look like it's a completely different figure with all of the added armor and the accessories, uh, the hands, the feet, the tail. All these awesome details that really make it stand out as something much more than just your standard Mini Mate figure. It's actually uh, quite impressive and, and something I'm, I'm really, really liking. I, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel initially about the Battle Beasts as Mini Mates, but it, this is the second one I've received and I've got to say these things are really, really cool. Now, for those wondering about what the deal is with the Battle Beast, I know a lot of people have asked why these don't include the rub symbols like the original ones, and they don't even include any of the logos or the emblems, such as the fire, the wood, the water, anything like that. Uh, these things do seem to be an entity all their own. They share the Battle Beast name, but they're going kind of in their own direction. And we actually learned uh, at the Diamond panel here at C2E2 exactly what the deal is with the licensing for the Battle Beasts. That's really great. And so we were going over just 80s stuff, like toys from the 80s and ideas from the 80s and Shogun Warrior, um, Battle Beasts, or Chris Star, there were like a bunch of that kind of stuff just messing around. He did a, um, I don't want to get the name wrong, but like a trademark search. And he saw that the rights to the name Battle Beast were um, lapsed. They, they weren't like live. So we went in and filed with the, um, with the government or whatever department does that, showed them you know, what we were doing and all that. And they're like, OK. So we gave them a check, and now we own the name Battle Beast. So it's not a license. If someone wanted to do Battle Beast, actually, on uh, anything, they would have to call us now. So it's kind of an IP. Like, we kind of own Battle Beast. Um, so I don't know what we do exactly. I have some ideas. But I don't want to do anything first and do it wrong, right. and then like totally botch it. You know, so we're doing the promo figures. We're just having some fun with it. We've sculpted some stuff. We've designed some stuff. We just, and you know, I don't know if this is the current environment to introduce something big like that. You know, everyone's kind of broke. We might, you know, we got time. We might wait a year or so before we really figure out what to do. When the heat transfers, everyone's asking about that. I don't know if we can even do heat transfers, honestly. That process is something someone invented, 
so they have a copyright on it, you know, so we have to look into see if we can even do, like does someone own heat transfer on a toy, or even owning the heat transfer process, you know, we don't know that kind of stuff yet, which is why we haven't done anything with the line yet, because we don't know what we can do. But we're going to do something with it. Like, just this promo stuff is just kind of fun for all of us to do. It's like, yeah, like oh my god, they're back. Yeah, right. You know, that's kind of cool. But. So there you have it, kind of a really cool freebie to have. If you were lucky enough to attend C2E2, hopefully you stopped by the diamond booth and picked one of these up. They were free handouts and they are well worth getting a hold of if you can. Very, very cool figures and we hope to see a lot more come from the Battle Beast line. Until next time, I'm Pixel Dan. Take care guys.